Hi, my name is Dr. Matthew Saunders. I am the professor for your course, Music 1800, Popular Music. Uh, and this is the video to welcome you to the course and to just kind of get, get you uh, uh, oriented so that you know what's going on and uh, what the expectations are uh, and what to expect over the next uh, uh, term here. So this is uh, an, uh, an overall history of American popular music from the mid-19th century all the way up to the present. And so uh, some people get a little concerned because they uh, have seen the title popular music and now they're they're worried that uh, we, uh, you know, we're not going to get to the music of today, and, and that's, uh, yeah, that's sort of the case. We will, at the very end of the term, get to the music of today, but uh, Cicero said, uh, to, to be ignorant of what happened before you were born is to remain forever a child. Uh, so you really can't understand today's popular music on any but a, anything but a superficial level, that is. Uh, you really can't understand today's popular music if you don't know what's going on before. And so we're going to go all the way back uh, really to the time even before the American Civil War uh, to an extent. So uh, that's uh, the basic uh, gist of the class. Uh, there's a couple of things I want you to be able to do by the time you get to the end of the class. And the first is uh, I want you to be able to uh, uh, listen to a piece of music and say something intelligent about it. And so that means that we're going to be working on a mode of listening that's a little bit different than maybe what you've done before in the past. Most people, most of the time, and I'm guilty of this too, uh, it's just natural that we hear music out there. Music is everywhere in our society. Uh, and that's one reason why we would even have a class like this. It's just because it's all over the place. Um, music is everywhere. And if, if we constantly tried to listen to it uh, deeply and meaningfully, every time we heard a piece of music, uh, we'd be having car crashes. We'd be running into people in the mall where we hear uh, all this different kind of music coming out. But that said, right, it's important to cultivate uh, a mode of listening for this class that isn't just letting the music go in one ear and out the other. Uh, so that's a major goal, and I'm going to be working with you hopefully this semester to uh, figure out just how you accomplish that, how you make that happen. So uh, that's that's a big goal. Another big goal is to consider uh, what the purposes of popular music are and what it means and what, you know, music over the last century has been so enormously big uh, in our culture and important and people uh, are very passionate about it, and it affects our politics, and it affects our uh, uh, belief systems, and it affects the way we live our lives because we use our musicians as role models. What does all that mean? Uh, what does it mean that we make music a uh, source of our, uh, of our identity going forward? So that's uh, the other big question that we have to answer. Uh, how does history impact music, and how does music impact history? Uh, along the way, we'll be finding out about some really fascinating uh, people, some technologies, some uh, uh, approaches to making music, and we'll see, you know, just how the music of uh, the 1920s is very similar in many respects to the music of today uh, in so many ways, uh, while at the same time being drastically different. So that's the, uh, 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 the course in a nuts nutshell a little bit. Uh, I want to show you your two textbooks that you're going to need to have for this class. The first one is this one. Uh, American Popular Music from Minstrelsy to MP3, the fourth edition by Kenneth Starr, or sorry, Larry Starr and Christopher Waterman. Um, uh, yours will not have these red bands up at the uh, top and the bottom. You also need to make sure, though, that you have the access code for the downloadable audio that happens. And if you didn't purchase that with your book, you need to pick that up. Uh, you need to, uh, uh, it should come with any new book. Uh, it, you can also buy it separately for a used book, so make sure that you have that. Uh, you'll be wanting to listen to those examples. It's the best way to make sure that you're hearing the examples that are described in the book. Uh, and we're constantly listening to this class. The other textbook that you're going to need is this one. This is the course packet for Music 1800, Popular Music. And this has a lot of uh, additional supplemental material that I've developed over the last few years teaching this class that will help you to uh, understand some of the concepts that are in here. Because I, this is a class for non-music majors, but we still have to get into some technical jargon. We still have to get into some terms and describe what those terms are. And I've uh, tried to make it as, uh, you know, let's face it, history is complex. Music is complex. Uh, I want this to be a class that, you know, we have to delve into that complexity sometimes, but we also need to be able to communicate with each other. And I need to meet, meet people where they are, because most people taking this class are not music majors. 
So that all said, there's one more uh, uh, thing that you will need to have access to, and that's a copy of the 2004 movie De Lovely, which stars Kevin Klein and Ashley Judd. And there's more information about that in your syllabus. Make sure you read the syllabus uh, for all of that information for the schedule. And I put the due dates into the calendar. You should be uh, in very good shape as far as information. Uh, if you have uh, that movie is coming right along, it's not very far into the semester, so right away you really should make sure that you're uh, finding that and, and having access to that movie. There is a copy on reserve in Lakeland's library. Uh, you can probably get it at other public libraries or uh, for purchase, uh, and uh, I am told that it is also available uh, to view through Google Play uh, So for a fee. Uh, so uh, you'll want to make sure that you have that movie because the, uh, you're going to be writing a paper uh, where that movie is your starting point. Uh, De Lovely is a wonderful movie, and I can't wait for you to experience that. That's Learning Module 4, which is coming right up along. All that said, thank you so much for uh, being here, and if there are any questions, feel free to contact me at any point. We'll uh, uh, hopefully talk soon, and have a great, uh, a great day. Bye.